Ladies and gents, welcome back. Yesterday, we learned that the conservative party managed to pass a piece of legislation, a motion to allow the governor general to investigate and audit the $54 million that went into the Arrive Can app, an application that when uh, scrutiny came to them uh, by developers in the field, a few developers managed to make a clone of the app over a weekend and said that it, it shouldn't have cost more than a few hundred thousand dollars. Now we're learning about the governor general's week-long Middle East trip and how it costs taxpayers $1.3 million. So the individual is going to be looking at and auditing the $54 million is uh, part of this whole thing. And this is brought to us by the National Post. Detailed itinerary for the trip indicates the Vice Regal and her entourage stayed at five star hotels during many legs of the trip. Woohoo! Hey, hey, this is what we get for our tax dollars. Hey, uh, inflation's on, on the way. I hope uh, you guys aren't suffering too bad. Uh, steaks are off the menu. Ground beef for everyone. Uh, we're all struggling in our own way here in this economy. But hey, $1.3 million for, you know, a couple of couple of nights. <laughs> Ottawa, Governor uh, General Mary Simon's week-long trip to the Middle East earlier this year. The target of government expense review. Most Canadian taxpayers more, it uh, costs Canadian taxpayers more than $1.3 million, new documents reveal. Gets into the whole breakdown published online on the website for the Common Standing Committee on Government Operations and estimates the documents show most of that cost was borne by global affairs, followed by national defense and the governor general's office and the RCMP. And they break it down on all the <laughs> what everything cost. In June, the National Post reported on a response to an order paper questioning regarding the cost of flying and dining Vice Regal, uh, her husband, and her 28 passengers aboard Canada Forces CC-150 Polaris transport plane between March 16th and 24th and okay, I'll, I'll leave a <laughs> I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description so you can check out the article for yourself but we had uh, Frank Franco Terrazano uh, <laughs> from the of course the uh, Canadian Taxpayers Federation come forward another big taxpayer story on the front page of today's National Post the CTF dis first discovered that the governor general's week-long trip cost $1.3 million. They enjoyed a fancy feast, but what value did taxpayers get? And he put together this video for Twitter. Hey, everyone. Another big story on today's front page of the National Post for taxpayers. Let me just read you the headline. Taxpayers ponied up $1.3 million dollars for the Governor General's Middle East trip. Now, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation first discovered that the government spent $1.3 million on a week-long trip to the Middle East. And remember, this is the same trip of all that fancy airplane food. So they enjoyed beef wellington. They enjoyed pork stuffed tenderloin. But what value did you get for the $1.3 million of taxpayers' money spent? And here is another question. Can the Governor General prove that spending $1.3 million on a week-long lavish trip to the Middle East is a better use of taxpayers' money than hiring more nurses or helping struggling Canadian taxpayers? Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, but anyways, check out the story because you, Canadian taxpayers, uh, we were all billed $1.3 million for the Governor General's week-long trip to the Middle East. Absolutely infuriating. <laughs> I, I hate bringing news like this to you guys because it is just so absolutely infuriating. And this is why I'm laughing. It's um, it's hard to it's hard to look at this situation and how much money is just flowing out of the coffers of our federal government. Uh, well, not just a federal government. Every every aspect of the government, and just seeing this happen and it doesn't just happen with one party or another it's all of them they're they're all doing it anytime they have the ability to run these expenses they take all advantage of it but, uh i'll end you with this one uh this is one of my favorites from this morning there's uh jagmeet singh making a tiktok video 
on the tarmac before he gets on a private jet to lecture average Canadians about polluting too much. Man of the people here. And here he is uh, on the tarmac taking time to make a little, a little, a little TikTok video. Hey, everybody, check me out. Uh, it turns out, it turns out it may not be grocery store CEOs that are the problem here. It may not be that. Anyway, if, if you know what the problem is, maybe leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this whole thing. And again, sorry for laughing. It's just, how else do you respond to such uh, just terrible, terrible behavior uh, from the people who claim to be our leaders, our elected officials? Um, here they are. Uh <laughs> Just blowing everything. Just blowing it all. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, check us out live. We'll be live. I'll be live tonight at 6:30 Pacific time. That's uh 9:30 Eastern. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. If you uh, if you like the videos that you've been seeing, consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.